Hey guys and welcome back to StarMade. We've got another ship reviewed episode for us today. Uh, today we're going to look at a ship, another one from my faction member, but this one we will be looking at here on the Surge review station. Uh, there it is up there, just in front of the NMS red ship. Uh, and here we are down on our little planet again. So quick review for those who don't know how my reviews work. Uh, it's pretty simple. I spawn in your ship near my little planet here on my own private little game and we talk about it for a brief few seconds and uh, then I go to your ship and we talk about three very important things uh, at least to me and these three things are your uh, they are form they are function and they are role playability uh, and they are pretty much simple to understand form is how good it looks how well it's put together uh, what kind of designs being used and how much effort and skill and just overall aesthetics of the of the ship itself uh, the other the next one we look at is function uh, what is its primary function and how well does it perform said function so uh, to give you an idea if you build a miner how well does your ship mine if you built a battleship how good is it at being a battleship how good it can it fly if it's a fighter how fast is it uh, if it's a race ship, well rather if it's a race ship, how fast is it? If it's purely just for role play to get some kind of luxury yacht or something like that, how good is it at being a luxury uh, luxury yacht? Uh, and the last score is pretty simple, that is um, what is um, its role playability. If I was role playing as something in Star Made, uh, which I often do, what uh, what kind of experience would it give me and would it keep that illusion that I am, say, a privateer of the vast galaxies of StarMate or something along those lines? Uh, for this, we'll look at some pretty basic things. We want to look at um, uh, the interiors, the exteriors, what you do, what you can't do, uh, what it does and uh, all of that kind of stuff involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at Q-Ball's uh, ship up here. Now Q-Ball is a faction member of mine. Um, he has suggested we look at this and because it wasn't too big I decided to bring it to the planet. Um, and so yes, yeah, so as you can see there's actually all four ships up there that I've reviewed or am about to review and um, we're going to have a look at them one by one. Wait, scratch that, whoa. I'm uh, not in the right headspace right now. Ignore what I just said. I have had a look at them all one by one, and we're gonna look at cue balls today. Uh, so I don't think it has a name. So when I downloaded it, I just called it um, cue balls minor. If it does have a name, Q, let me know um, either in game or in the comments below, and I will update the name of this video as such. So right now we're gonna just jump inside the ship. Let me turn back on my HUD, and let's jump inside. Uh, so I've already had a bit of a look through this ship as again it's a it's one of the ones that's on the server and I sort of get, have an understanding of what it does uh, and what it is for. So it is a miner which is pretty self-explanatory. First and foremost we're going to look at the form uh, and the form of this guy I, um, I actually like the look of it. I don't know whether it's completely finished so something I haven't actually asked Q-Ball and I, I didn't really want to ask him because I didn't want it to influence the uh, review uh, so since I already sort of know a lot about the ship already uh, but it really doesn't look finished and I don't believe it is I think it's still a work in progress uh, but for the sake of it for the sake of argument we're gonna assume that it is not finished uh, which gives me a little bit of I guess freedom to uh, dis discuss it uh, one thing I will say is uh, it is very important to make sure that you use different colors when using the hull, if only for an, an aesthetic choice. Uh, obviously, you do not have to have different colors for the hull. Uh, you could have a completely black ship if you really wanted a completely black ship. Um, but it does add a, another level of uh, contrast. So understandably, you've got light gray here and you've got dark gray here, but the light gray parts, they're not they're not part of the hull. They look like they're separate entities, which I believe they are. I think actually they are cargo containers, um, which you store cargo in. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yep, there's cargo in them, or at least in these two. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing in this one. This one's empty, okay. But yeah, no, they're cargo containers. Um, 
that's all well and good. I probably would have liked to see them yellow, because it looks like this is also a cargo container, and it's yellow. Yep. Uh, this adds like kind of like a repetitive theme. Um, now, I know this was built in survival, so I'm going to give him a little bit of uh, leeway in some of my dis uh, discussion here, only because I know that he was limited on resources when building this. Uh, but I'm also not going to keep that as an excuse because I know how many resources our faction has, and it's a lot. And um, he may not have access to them all, but has access to a lot. Um, but so definitely a good idea to add another color. If not, just maybe some stripes or some decorative pieces. I don't know. Another color would be nice. Uh, moving on, uh, this whole front part here is a completely separate docked entity. I know why this is. Uh, at least I think I know why this is, and I'll show you guys once I've done the review why this is. Um, but it's a bit of an interesting choice. Um, at least for functionality, it's not a great idea, but for roleplay, it's really cool. I uh, would like to see some wedges in here. I like this idea of sort of like this maw. I really like miners that actually look like they would uh, be like sucking something in. Uh, but no wedges is a bit of a letdown. Wedges would be nice. I know that it's ice, uh, but ice comes in wedges now, so there's no real excuse there. Um, but otherwise, cool choice, cool choice, absolutely. Uh, you get a docker on here, you got the Atlas logo on both sides, which isn't mirrored, which is good to see. Um, what do we got back here? So uh, let's have a look at the interior. We'll have to have a look at the interior on this one because I know that it has a decent interior. Thrusters could leave a little bit to be desired. Uh, they're flat. Flat thrusters are not cool. I don't like flat flat thrusters. Again, I know that this isn't complete yet, but adding some dimensions to the thrusters is pretty important in my opinion. Uh, I believe that these are turrets. I think. I'm not sure how they work. I'm gonna have to have actually have a play with those. Work out how that works. Um, but yeah, thrusters could look a lot nicer, man. Uh, I like the I like the silhouette you've got happening here. You add some dimension to that and it'll actually start looking good. But for right now, it's just a flat thruster and I don't think anyone likes a flat, thrust, a flat thruster. Uh, interesting shape up here. I really like your little um, antennas up here with the capsules and the green light. Definitely, see this is good. Adding a bit of light there definitely adds another dimension because see how the green, it looks like that's uh, something to look at. Even though when you get close, you realize it's just a light, it definitely looks like it's something to look at. Uh, these AMS turrets look very similar to Shakers. I'm assuming they're the same, uh, if not very similar, which uh, I know they work really good, so that's a plus. Um, you got your entrance down here, which I do want to quickly show off really quick. It's got rail doors, and everybody knows my opinion on rail doors. I freaking love rail doors, except the logic seems to be very iffy it doesn't seem to want to work correctly so that's something that's worth looking at dude because it just doesn't seem to want to do its job um, so we'll have a quick look in the inside here uh, lots of scattered cargo which is really cool it looks like this is a ship that's in use um, a random cargo room in here which looks like that's where the cargo is supposed to be uh, but that's cool very very role play and it'll definitely score you some points there uh, this thing which I've seen before is really cool uh, I'd like to see more of this from you, Q. It's very, very, very cool. Um, completely unnecessary, but that's that's cool. That's a good thing. Completely unnecessary aesthetic things are, in my opinion, very necessary. Uh, you got a little opening here to actually get access to the, the logic, which is good. That's a good idea. Uh, it's always a good idea to have access to your logic. Uh, random system blocks underneath the stairs. Not sure why. I don't know whether that's a design choice or a space choice. Um, not liking it, I'll be honest. Um, I do like the fact you're using mesh and grill for the stairs, but me personally, I probably would have used them in reverse the mesh on the ground and the grill as the rail. Um, but definitely like what you're doing there. I do know from experience that you just have a lot of random light blocks placed in random places. Um, which could have been done with other blocks. Like, instead of using a light block here, you could have used a light rod, because light rods would slot pretty easily in there and keep a whole kind of flush look. Uh, you've got your core on a chair. Not sure why. I guess it's because when you're in your core, it's like you're looking forward through the core. Uh, but you're not looking at anything, so it's kind of a, a moot point right there to do that. 
Um, cool idea, cool concept, um, and, and like this, this which I'm assuming is the main control bay is is very lax. Um, I was expecting this to be a little bit more polished when you told me to review it, um, but I, I, I guess you've still got a lot more work to do on it. Um, so I definitely am looking forward to see that uh, because some of the things, and I'll point out some of the things as I go. I've already pointed out this. You've definitely got some really cool design choices and ideas. Um, but you really have to apply apply a little bit more focus and a little bit more polish to some of the stuff you're doing because some of it's a little bit uh, lackluster. Uh, you got a cool little bay in here, control bay, which controls the teleporter, uh, which at first seems like a cool idea, but it requires two people then. You need to have someone standing in the teleporter and someone to activate it, uh, which is a rare thing in Starman. You don't usually need two people to do a teleporter, but Eh, for roleplay purposes, it's pretty cool. Uh, side doors, love side doors. Uh, you got a server room in here, pretty cool. Nice, cool fans. Um, this is your med bay, nice, cool med bay. Uh, and around the corner, where are we going now? So that's the only place to go in there. Go up the stairs again. Um, no, 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 yeah, here we go, up here. So in here, this is what I want to really look at. You got some cool control bays here, which is always good to look at. Uh, these are interesting. I'm not sure what they do, so I'm not going to play with them. Um, a cool little like eating area, uh, commons room. Cool to look at. Uh, this is cool. I will do this later because I know what this does. You got a radar jammer there too. Cool. Uh, setting your system, important systems around the spot. There's your scanner. That's cool. I like that. Um, putting your systems around the spot. So you got some girders, uh, not girders, uh, scaffolds there. Uh, that's cool, so you get to see what the direction it goes, and that that's a cool idea. I might actually, I might actually have to use that. Um, so along here, we've got this access into what is the docked entity, and this is actually two ships, really, when you think about it. And I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, as far as form goes, we're gonna quickly wrap this up because I want to continue and and get through this as quick as I can. As far as form goes, I want to call this, um, I want to give it about a three. And I'm going to be generous with a three because uh, it's definitely not polished. There's a lot of work to do. Certain things like this, engines, eh, not so cool. Don't like those engines very much. Um, but this, this is cool. Lots of cool pods. You got Gerdas in there. Um, the Atlas logo in here is really cool. You could use some wedges, in, especially in under here. Uh, especially in under here, uh, but little things like that you just need to consider. Also, I've noticed that you don't seem to use the appropriate dimensions for power, which makes this very inefficient. I'd suggest Q that you read up on how power uh, efficiency works, because that is just not not very helpful. I don't think all your power is like that. I can't see all of your power, but as far as what I have seen, uh, it's very inefficient that so. Uh, yeah, for form, I'm going to give you a three, a three out of five. Uh, function. Now, this one I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of skim over quickly because I already have given this a score uh, in my head since I sort of know how this works. So in order to turn it on, you need to turn on that there. And it's an automated docked salvager, which is pretty cool because it fills up the cargo and then you actually undock the salvager and replace it with maybe an, a different one or a uh, a different module or something else entirely that isn't a salvager. Uh, and I'll show that off in just a moment. In fact, I might do it now uh, for the sake of it. So as far as it goes, you show it off um, by... I'll show it off in just a second. So we come down here and we press this button to unload the salvager. And what that actually does is it, as you can see, separates the main body of the ship from the salvager. And I forgot to turn off the salvager, but that's okay. Uh, what eventually will happen is it'll get to the very end of the rail, and at the very end of the rail there is a launch rail or a, um, a takeoff rail. I forget what it's called. Uh, in fact, I can find out really quick. Uh... shootout rail. So it's a shootout rail and when it gets to the very end of that it will shoot out. Uh, and the ship itself is just this part here with the pretty ordinary looking thrust, all that interior and this big long shaft. 
uh, which kind of makes it look like a Hoover vacuum or like a, a, a Dyson vacuum or some sort of vacuum. Uh, not a fan of that, but it's a cool modular idea, very cool idea. Uh, and if, if made look a little bit nicer, I guess there would be a really cool roleplay aspect there. So as far as it goes, function, because it's a docked salvager, you have very little control over the salvager itself, and you don't really get access to the actual thing. So I'm only going to actually give it a 2 and a five out of 5 for function, because there are just way, so many better ways to do what you've done here, uh, which require a whole lot less complicity. Uh, but... One thing I will give you a really good score on is roleplay. Roleplay for this ship, there's a lot of completely unnecessary, completely overburdened uh, and overcomplicated ways to do things, but that is roleplay right there. If you didn't want a roleplay to be a miner that had different types of shuttles or ships and stuff like that, you wouldn't build multiple ships, you wouldn't build ships for the sake of just looking pretty, you wouldn't build them, you'd just build blocks of cubes. But the fact that this ship has very, very interesting ways of doing things that, as far as function goes, is kind of useless. Uh, and there we go. There it goes off in the distance. So as far as function goes, it's kind of pointless. Um, but the fact that you do have to go out of your way to do those things is actually pretty cool. So like having someone else activate the, 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 the teleporter for you, very cool. Uh, I believe I missed a room back here as well which is some sort of like cryo lab or like showers. I think this is a bathroom um, and, and just simple stuff like that. There's also a captain's room up in here, which is pretty cool. Um, but there's a lot of interior and a lot of interior and that's good. I'm going to give you a four out of five for role play ability. So as far as it goes, just a quick recap. We're gone and I've given you a three or four form. Uh, and I'm only giving you a 3, I probably would only give you a 2 if you handed this to me and you told me that this was finished, I would give you a, a flat 2. Uh, but because I am pretty certain that this is a work in progress, um, which I will not do work in progress ships in, in the future guys, uh, just a heads up on that. Um, but as far as it goes, I know this is a work in progress, so I'm going to give you a 3 for the benefit of the doubt that I know that it, well I hope that it will get better looking than this. Uh, but if this, is, if this is it, if this is it, consider it a 2. Uh, because it's just not finished. There's a lot of a lot of stuff that can be easily polished in very little effort. So as far as it goes, a three for that. I'm gonna give you a two for functionality uh, because, just, honestly, man, it's not a very functional miner. Um, you don't need a separate entity for the mining thing. It's a cool idea, a very cool idea. That way you can just build like separate modules and attach them to your ship, which is very cool, very role play. But as far as functionality goes on a non-roleplay level, yeah, it's just not very functional at all. Um, especially since you have to eject the main part of the ship that is the, the, the salvager. Uh, what's going to happen if you don't have somewhere to dock that? Uh, it sounds like you need a whole system to set this up. Uh, which is why I'm giving you a 4 for roleplay, which is a huge score in my opinion for roleplay because you can see that there's a lot of effort put into making this thing feel functional and feel like it, every part of it is important. Uh, so yeah, this is um, effectively what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to give you that. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, this has been Q-Balls Miner. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of my score. Let me If you think I've been too harsh, if you think I'm spot on, if you think I've not been harsh enough. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked my video today, leave me a like. Uh, if you disliked it, leave me a dislike because that's an option. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so uh, as I try to do these on a pretty regular basis. Uh, this has been Surge with another uh, ship review. And this ship has been Q-Balls Miner. And yes, signing out.